today we will be testing the L3 GAN B X Trender Indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. There is also a link down below to sign up for TradingView. You can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Lastly, if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates, but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel, you can sign up for our $9 Patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the L3 GAN B X Trender Indicator. Before we do though, I wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested a total of 61 different strategies with 16 of them being profitable. We've also tested a total of 789 indicators with 320 of them being winners. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. So go back and watch those videos and see what you can get out of those winning indicators. We've also retested in the advanced testing 20 of the winning indicators. Eight of them have been able uh, to maintain the winning status. The best one, a 76% win rate. Now keep in mind that we test most of these strategies and indicators on the Forex and crypto market, but they can be applied to just about any market and time frame universally. Okay, so today's indicator is the L3 GAN BX Trender Indicator, and you can see it here on the bottom of the screen. And so uh, I've played around with this indicator just a little bit, just had it on screen like I often do. I'll just have it on screen, kind of scroll back and just kind of take a look at it, um, see if there is a reasonable way uh, that we can attempt to trade this that might uh, give us some kind of clear um, directional movement or uh, kind of clean entries. And uh, this indicator uh, initially um, on the uh, default, um, uh, let's see here. So let's do this. Let's go into the settings here and we will um, reset the settings there. All right, so you can see it here. And you see that we have this prominent line kind of here running through it. We have these bars here, like histogram style um, kind of columns or bars. Uh, but we also have this kind of faint line right here. And that's the one um, that kind of caught my eye. And so what I did was I went in here and I isolated it. So it's the BX Trender uh, trend line, this one here and this one here. And what I did was um, actually I'll leave the, um, this one here, the black one, um, as is, but I'll go ahead and bump up the, um, color of these. Let's see if we can get it to stand out a little bit more, I guess without that black. All right. We'll get this situated here. All right. There we go. So now we can see that this line here is a little bit more prominent, a little bit uh, easier to kind of spot what's going on with it. And so, um, like I said, that's the one that kind of caught my eye because it seems to be the one that is kind of most closely following along with the uh, trend movement of this particular 
uh, pair. And so what we are going to do is we are going to test it first and foremost. Let's go ahead and we can turn that one off so we don't get confused. And we have this one on here. What we're gonna do is when this line here switches to green, we are going to go long. When it switches to a red, we are going to go short. So that's what we're looking for. We'll test it this way, see what we get out of it. And we might end up testing it uh, some other ways. We'll see. Let's go ahead and get on with the testing and see what we can get though. All right, so the first signal we pick up is a long signal. So you can see that it uh, dips down here, uh, still in the red color, and then right here it switches to the green on this one. We get a nice push to the upside there, which does get us to our take profit. Let's go ahead and continue on. All right, so we flip to a short right here on this one, uh, but we do get a little bit of correction and push to the upside here on this one. And that is enough to come up and hit our stop before it does roll over and makes the push to the downside. But we would have been uh, stopped out on that one, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and continue on. All right, then we flip to a long right here on this one. Uh, we get that big green bar. We get that switch of the coloration in the line. And then we get a really nice push to the upside there, which does come up and get us to our take profit once again. All right, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and fast forward through the rest of this testing. That way things don't get too long. And we'll pick this up when we are at the end of the year. All right, so that's going to put us at the end of the year right there. Before we take a look at what this was able to achieve, I'd like to give a quick shout out to our Discord server. So this is our Discord server here. It's free to join. Anybody's welcome to join, take part in the discussions here in the free channels. But we do have a channel set up just for our patrons to take advantage of, where we post some really great advanced information for the patrons to take advantage. Uh, we have, like, for instance, our admin Jay here. Uh, it's trading the futures market, posting charts like this, where he's marked our areas of support and resistance, areas of interest, um, entries, and uh, trades that he's looking to take. And he will often give a write-up on exactly what it is that he's looking at, what he's kind of marked out in the chart, and kind of where his mind is on these trades. We also have Sasquatch here. Uh, he's a really awesome Forex prop trader. Uh, he will often post trades like this and screenshots where... He has marked out areas of support and resistance, um, areas of interest uh, like this here, uh, where he has um, kind of shown areas of support and resistance, areas of interest where he's looking to take trades. And we'll also often um, post um, kind of an analysis on what it was he was looking at and teaching um, anybody who's interested in, you know, kind of exactly what it is that he uh, was doing, why he was trading and looking to take those trades. And so just a lot of really great advanced information for the patrons uh, to uh, look at and analyze and apply to their trading. All right, so back to our indicator here. Go ahead and scroll back here and get this thing into focus. All right, let's go ahead and count it out and see what we have. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So we have 20 trades all together. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. 13 winning trades. And so that is going to meet the 60% 
criteria that we were looking for. Um, all in all, seemed like it was doing rather solid. There were some moments that it was a little bit too fast, kind of calling signals um, in areas that uh, it uh, didn't necessarily need to be calling signals in uh, but for the most part like i said it did pretty solid a uh, decent number of trades within the one year's time 20 trades so that's uh, almost on the verge of over trading but a reasonable number nonetheless and still giving us a rather accurate entries and so all in all solid indicator using it this way i'll play around with it other ways and see if there's any reason to test it any other way uh, but for now it's going to go on the yes list and we will move on to the next indicator from here